Have you fall off from your weight loss wagon? It happens to best of us. Perhaps you had a birthday bash, or maybe you had a stressful week at the work, or perhaps you were just following a very restrictive diet. The cravings kick in and you just get it in. But here's good news. One slip up doesn't have to derail your whole journey. And today's video is all about getting back on track, rebooting your mindset, and restoring your weight loss progress but in a healthy and sustainable way. The first thing I want you to do is acknowledge and forgive. Don't beat up yourself, because if you keep saying the things like, or oh, I shouldn't have done this, I shouldn't have drank this, I shouldn't have eaten this, you're still living in the past. And when you're living in the past, simply you can't move forward. So just accept that yes, slip up happened, and that's it. And learn from that, what triggered that because then you can put some strategies in place. So for example, you had a full bag of chips because of the stressful week in the work and recognizing the stress as a trigger will help you to put strategies in place. So when the stress kicks in next time, you can say, okay, I'll do X, Y, Z and protect yourself from those slip ups. The second thing I want you to do is refocus on your goals. So go back to your goals and ask yourself why you chose them in the first place. Why are they so important for you? Is it to regain your health, to have more energy, to regain your body confidence? So just go back and then think about them and start visualizing them and see how you feel about achieving them because this one will definitely motivate you. And if you have a big goals, then definitely try to break them for the smaller goals and don't forget to celebrate those small wins. Next thing I definitely don't want you to do, which is to jump back into the extreme restriction because this one will lead to the cravings to kick in and then at some point you will snap again. So what you need to do is just start with the small changes. So something like adding the daily walk um, for the 30 minutes or swapping the sugary drinks for the water or zero gram sugar or perhaps swapping the high calorie um, snacks for something like a fruit. So these small changes will definitely help you to stay on track. And also another strategy to add into your toolbox is to just use the smaller plates. So this will help you to control the portion size. Okay, let's concentrate on another thing that I want you to do, which is to revisit your plan. Because maybe your plan was just too unrealistic, maybe too restrictive, and you just couldn't follow this one through. Perhaps you need to do a small changes, so just follow a more flexible diet, which allows for the treats, and maybe change some workout routines for something that you enjoy, that you like doing it, and it definitely fits your lifestyle. Meal prep is your friend. Preparing your meals is a game changer and it helps to avoid unhealthy snacking. Instead of cooking just um, one portion of, let's say, rice or quinoa, just cook for the three, four days and prepare some snacks. So you don't have to constantly think on the daily basis, what am I going to eat? And just go to the fridge and just grab the ready-made meal. No, you'll have already prepared meals for the three, four days or maybe for a week. And this one will definitely help you to stay on track. Another thing that will help you to get back on track is finding the support. Speak to your friends, speak to your family and tell them about your goals and why they are so important for you so they can support you. Join some online communities where you can share the ideas and you can get motivated from other stories or perhaps hire the coach who can support you in your journey. So perhaps someone like myself who were you feeling for example down or frustrated can back you up with the different strategies so you will stay on track. And the last thing I've got for you in this video is concentrate on the non-scale victories. Okay, the number on the scale, it's important. It will show you the progress, but it doesn't tell the whole story. So concentrate on the things like perhaps you're feeling much better, you've got more energy, your clothes fit much better, the measurements going down, you compare the photo first, with the second and you can see the differences in your body composition and that's the victories that you should concentrate on and definitely celebrate them. Remember, the setbacks are the part of the journey. The important thing 
is to learn from them and get back on the track with the positive mindset. You've got this! And leave the comment below with your tips that help you to get back on the weight loss wagon. And if you find this video useful, come on, hit that like button, subscribe and share it with someone who you know that is struggling with the weight loss journey.